Look at this. This guy lives in a back alley here with probably no sunlight. But he has a big, huge Hollywood poster. Every morning when he sits outside drinking his coffee, he says, hey, I got a view at the Hollywood sign. He's not lying. I think that's hilarious, huh? Funny. As long as he's happy, he's not lying. He's looking at the Hollywood sign every day. I have no idea why I like stuff like this. Burn wood, they fix the door with burn wood. But I like the metal. I like all the graffiti on there. I like this metal lock here. I love it. Let's go to Hollywood Boulevard. It never gets boring walking around Hollywood Boulevard. You always see something new. Man, looks like that tour bus business is booming here. I got three, four of them. Welcome to beautiful Hollywood. Yes, I'm back 24 hours later. I was here yesterday. I was doing a tribute video for Paul Rubens, AKA Pee Wee Herman. And uh, something bothered me so much that I had to come back today and do another video. But before I tell you about it, I'm just gonna show you what else they added to it and what they took yesterday. Somebody made this little board here. Looks really nice with that eyeball. It looks like somebody took that New York Yankees hat. I thought that's gonna happen. We still got the Smurf. Don't leave this house. Got the ducky, rubber ducky. I even rode on the sidewalk here. Somebody glued some eyes. Thank you for everything, Pee Wee. And here's the scene where he's standing in that bar, dancing to tequila. Da 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 da. He's still sitting there, Pee Wee, watching your star. I don't even know how to start this video here. So when I do a YouTube video, I always try to get the best information. I try to go to different locations, make the video really good, but it always takes time. So the day when Paul Rubens died, I didn't have the time to do a video that day. Normally I go right away and film the Walk of Fame when they put like a little shrine out there, but I didn't have the time. So I had to do it a, a day later. And the museum wasn't open where P.V. Herman's bike was inside and his suit. And I really wanted to put this in the video, but it's really important sometimes on YouTube that you are quick and put something out when it happens right away. So if you post a video after like a week after he passed away, not too many people watch the video. So you try to do it always quick. And sometimes you cannot put all the information in one video because you want to post it a couple of days before. So that's what I did yesterday. But it bothers me that I did not find the footage on my hard drive about PB Herman's bike and his suit. So today I want to go back and show you guys is actually at the Hollywood Museum down the street. What I wanted to tell you is sometimes you have to upload a video quick and I can't do it sometimes because I go to so many different locations. I always try to do the best video I can do with lots of information, lots of different angles. That's just the German in me, I think. Some people don't care that much and it kind of bothers me too. I went to the Ringo Starr birthday uh, in Beverly Hills. There was a guy there, he was just filming the camera. He was pointing down to the feet, then the sky is shaking. He showed Ringo Starr from the back but he uploaded his video first because he didn't have to edit it. And his video got over 230,000 views. To me, it was a terrible video, but people Google it and so he gets all the views. Mine came out a day later and I put a lot of heart in there, but it didn't get that many views. Of course you do your videos because you want people to, to view it. The more people, the better. The more people watch it, the more money you make. So of course it is a business, but I always try to make it as good as I can. And that's okay, everybody got their own style. Like Casey Neistat sometimes lets his camera fall over. It's not uh, really sharp, the image, he zooms in. For some reason I can't do it, but that's my style. So I really wanted to go back to the museum and show you his bike and his suit. 
it was really important for me to get this footage too so that's why i'm going back and film it and while i'm here in hollywood already there's always something new to film and uh, i take you guys with me when i was standing there and looking at the stuff there's people come up and they said who is pv herman they don't know him a lot of europeans don't really know him i think he got really popular here in the united states especially for kids and later on for grown-ups that's right you heard what he said hilarious guy i know i was matching up some pictures when he got the star in the hollywood walk of fame but i found another one yesterday on the internet and i thought it was really cool so i'm gonna do another match up right here it's hard to take the picture because the sun is out but he was kneeling down right here here we got this picture This is the new picture I found last night on the internet. I thought it was pretty cool. Him laying down really close to the star. Man, he just liked to pose with his star, of course. There's Larry Edmonds bookstore. And I think they just put this out recently. There's King Kong and there's Pee Wee's Big Adventure. It's a movie poster. Wow, the Warriors. Enter the Dragon, Bruce Lee, the Joker, Batman. Do the right thing. Jurassic Park. Rebel without a cause. James Dean. Elvis Presley. And the Goonies. What also bothers me in my videos is when there's the leaf blowers, of course, people doing their job, or there's a big truck coming by, it's so loud. Some people just don't care. And look at this. Sometimes I'm filming and I got the sun strikes like this and I've been talking. I always want it to look good. But that's just the way I am. Maybe you call that OCD or I don't know. I think it's because I grew up in Germany. You always want to do everything right. Perfect. I made it back to the Max Factor building, the Hollywood Museum. Marilyn is right here. Let's go see PV's suit and his bicycle. I really wanted that footage. And see when I film and I see my own shadow in there, hate it. Got to move this over a little bit. Open 10 a.m. to 5, Wednesday to Sunday, $15 for adults. Senior and students, $12. I'm late again, they're closing in 20 minutes, but I think I can still do it. There's Superman. I made it, it's still on display here. This makes a good thumbnail too here. The bike and his suit and they're showing his movie in the background. There it is, his red bow tie. He was such a skinny guy. I saw him on David Letterman. They asked him like a few years ago to put on that suit again. I don't know if it was the original one, but they actually gave him one. He tried to pull it on and he didn't fit in it anymore. PV Playhouse, oh, that's from PV's Playhouse from 1986 to 1991, the CBS show. Those are his shoes. Believe it or not, I had shoes like this with that little bamboo there. White socks. But this is him, his iconic suit. PV Herman's highlights of award and nomination and stuff he won. See, that would have been good to have this in the video from yesterday, but I'm glad I can show you today. Nominated Murphy Brown, Playhouse. Look at all those awards, Emmy Awards. But I said it in my video that he actually won two Emmys. And now we're gonna go to his bike. And there it is, you can tell that it was used in the movie because it's kind of a little bit damaged. The handlebars, that's the one he was riding. It's a classic. Look at this. Does that thing make noise? I don't even know what that is. Oh no, that's that thing that goes onto your bike that turns on the light. You see this little thing spinning when you ride the bike? Well, for some people, this is probably not interesting, but for me it is, especially when I saw yesterday the house where I went and I saw the video of him pushing out the bike in the back 
That's where he was swinging. But this is it, the bike. And I'm not sure, is that a swim bike? I don't think so. PB's Big Adventure, 1985. Paul Rubin, PB Herman, Elizabeth Daly, Mark Holton, director, Tim Burton. So I'm gonna take a lot of pictures and this time I'm gonna put it safe somewhere on my hard drive and actually name it PB Herman so I find my footage back. I didn't mention this yesterday in the video that Paul Rubens, AKA Pee Wee Herman, wrote the whole screenplay for Pee Wee's Big Adventure himself. I think, uh, what's his name? The actor from Saturday Night Live, uh, Phil Hartman, I think. He helped him to write it. And they had no idea how to put like a screen, uh, screen book together. So they bought this little booklet, how to do screenwriting. And it worked, they sold it. And I got another fun story here. There was a guy in Newport Beach. He had to make uh, 10 bicycles for the movie and he was offered $10,000 with no screen credit or he could say he wanted screen credit but he did not get any money. So he actually decided to take the $10,000. What would you done? I think if he would have had the credit, he had the credit all his life and now he only got the $10,000. They had a Back to the Future exhibition in here. And when I filmed it, I also filmed the bike. I told you before, but now I'm seeing this with whole different eyes than I've seen it before. Now I see every little detail. I'm more interested in now. See, it takes an actor to die to get more interest. It's really sad, but that's how it is sometimes. And now I learned so much about his career that I want to see all the movies and I'm going to rent some of them and then I'm going to check out how it is. It's a classic music in the background. Did you know that's the actress that played Elvira? I didn't know, I learned that too. She looks good in that video too. Of course I had to stay and watch this scene again, but I have to talk over it. Otherwise I'm going to get a copyright strike, but this is the famous tequila song where he was dancing on the bar. I didn't know that they're gonna have a private event today, so I don't have much time. I probably got five more minutes. George Takai, his uniform. I have to come back now. It's all totally different than before. They had Back to the Future here. They had uh, Ghostbusters over there, but now they have all new stuff here and I haven't seen this. Yeah. Look, I've seen this at the Warner Brothers Studios from the Big Bang Theory. Liza Minnelli sued. I'm just doing like a quick run here. All right. What else do they have here? Oh, they got from Transformers, the outfit. Let's walk over here. They got Batman and Robin. The old display at that old motorcycle and the original suit, I guess. Batman and Robin. More cars from the Transformer. I mean, I love to see stuff from movies. Can you imagine that they were actually wearing this in the movies? Pretty cool. Oh, there she is, Michelle Pfeiffer, my favorite cat woman. I mean, they all look pretty good. They were all look really pretty. But for some reason, I liked her the best. Even though I would not say, wow, you're looking really good too. Another Batman and Robin, Wonder Woman. I don't know how many originals they have, but anywhere you go, you see, oh, this is Christopher Reeve's original suit. It doesn't really say anything that's the original one, but it's still a really cool suit. And that was my favorite Superman for sure, Christopher Reeve. Angelina Jolie's leather dress. Look how tiny she is. Wow. Pretty awesome dress. There's Brad Pitt's jacket. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. 
That's when you was cheating on my favorite friend girl. Poor Jennifer Anderson, huh? I actually like her better than Angelina Jolie. They still have a little exhibition here, Back to the Future and Ghostbusters. I was on the wrong floor. That was here. Slimer in the background. Ecto-1. Always nice to see stuff like this. And of course, another shout out to the German Ghostbusters. Look at this here. Nice. It's a cool model. We got the proton packs. I'm using those on the Comic Con, but some of the stuff is screened used or original. Pretty cool. Got the original Bob Barker plaque that you get when you have like a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It's all Bob Barker's shirt. More Ghostbusters stuff. I haven't seen that movie for a long time, so I wanted to do like a little vlog about that when I go to New York. So I gotta keep up the ghost trap. That's original Oscar here. I don't know why this one is silver, this one is gold. The Hollywood Museum, they put out a little picture here. TV. I have always felt a huge amount of love and respect for my friends, fans, supporters. I have loved you and enjoyed making art for you guys. Paul Rubens. Rest in peace. Woo! I'm back outside. I couldn't film more because they have a private event. I'm here with Marilyn standing in the heat again. It was nice and cool inside. But finally I got my footage and hopefully you're happy with that footage too. So I'm gonna walk around a little bit on Hollywood Boulevard. Maybe you wanna stick around and see what's going on here. Look at all the stuff you find here on the sidewalk. We got red socks and we got blue socks. Look how busy it looks here. Bomb! I'm in Hollywood! And I will always love you. A big bus tour. I would never sit in the middle in the bus. Never. That takes some skills to throw that thing up there. You see those droids everywhere in LA now. Hey Zolta, do you see a million subscribers in the future for the GIV? What do you think? Zolta! Of course, when I need some answers, he's not working. Look at that cool shirt he's wearing, Michael Jackson. Hee <laughs> hee! Oh, Who's you bad? On YouTube. You saw me on YouTube? Where? Yeah. You went to the house and all that That's stuff. absolutely right, and that's yeah. why you're on my channel right now. Is that okay? Yeah, Maestro. All right, thank you, man. Can you just imagine the smell? Look, the dogs in Hollywood wear shoes. I always wanted to have a payphone in my apartment and like a couple weeks ago, I finally bought one, but I couldn't hang it on the wall because this is super, super heavy. I didn't know. It's not like you just hang it up, dude. You have to grab it with two hands to lift it up, but I got that one in my apartment. This sound is America. How many thousands of times I walked on Hollywood Boulevard, but I've never seen this building here. There's Taco Bell in there, I didn't know. It looks really cool. Well, my friends, that was it. German event is reporting live here from Hollywood Boulevard. I had a great time, finally got my footage. If you happen to like this video, you know what to do. Just give it a thumbs up. 
push the notification bell and subscribe to the German in Venice. I see you guys next time. Tschüssing.